Hey, it's Airsoft Reviewers 2012 here again with the second video of the day. And this is uh, the AGM SCAR. We were just kind of curious, me and Gage were, of just kind of checking out one of the SCAR type uh, rifles. And this is a SCAR L. Obviously, this is the black one. I know some people are like, oh, you know, it'll just be original. I'll go with the tan. But, you know, we just wanted to be a little different and check out the black one here. First, let's just start with the AGM uh, manuals. I've been kind of wary of AGM, but, you know, this gun has done us well. Here you got your basic information, battery placement, all that, and it's a lot of chinglish actually. It's kind of hard to understand. Here you got your front side adjustment, your fake gas tube, and your uh, hop-up chamber here, and just how to pull the trigger. Um, other than that, we're just going to go into the basics of this gun. What I was really impressed with is the high quality. I think it's, I'm pretty sure this is steel up on the upper receiver here, and the polymer on the lower frame is just extremely, extremely high quality. Very impressed with that. You got your uh, flip up and flip down uh, adjustable sights, uh, rear and front. Uh, you got your, uh, hold on a second, there you go. <laughs> you got your uh, four rails here, or your three rails, all uh, steel. And then you got your basic M4, M16 uh, selector switch here. Uh, all the way down safe, up one single, and then auto is the A. And here you got some really nice trademarks on the uh, left side of the rifle. FN Herstel, Belgium. So it's officially licensed for all those guys who like the mill sim and like to have the realest they can get. Another sweet feature here is the uh, adjustable three position folding stock. For anybody who plays CQB up here in Iowa, we don't have a CQB course. But you know, you got your folding stock here. You'd be free to put anything you want on the front end here. And, yeah, I mean, this is just a pretty multi-purpose, uh, versatile weapon. I really recommend it. That's And that's really big coming from an AK guy, so. Definitely a good gun, you guys. Oh, another, uh, sorry to get off topic. Another awesome feature about this would probably be the Ambidextrous um, magazine release. That is pretty cool there. To be able to go into your chest rig or whatever rig you're running and be able to pull out a mag and put it in that uh, quick. Just that little tab there, push down, and then you got one over here which is pretty cool and what's going to come with your gun is uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 450 round high cap mag you're going to get the gun itself you're going to get a manual and you're going to get an unjamming and cleaning rod and you're going to get your standard uh, crappy battery and trickle charger which may possibly burn your house down so I really recommend you don't do that I recommend you uh, buy yourself a smart charger with every purchase of every airsoft AEG you get uh, very, very important. Buy yourself a high quality battery. You're going to want to buy yourself an intellect or a BB power if you're shopping at Mega Store or just something higher quality because the, gun, the battery that comes with your gun is just not going to get it done for you. And you if you're going to want to play all day, I recommend you get high milliamps. So Now we'll go into the battery space of this gun is here. On, this, on the left side of the rifle, you have a square shaped button with a lot of texture grip on it. You pull up here and look what I found. It's a battery. Uh, Intellect 1600 in there. Uh, I recommend if you do want to get a 9.6 volt battery that you shave the back here. There's this tab that doesn't allow you to get all the, get a bigger battery in there. It's kind of tough. What you're going to want to do is just uh, take a file or something, whatever you have around that has uh, sandpaper on it, and shave that down so you can fit the right size battery you'd like. Other than that, that's the only glitch with this gun. Other than that, there's nothing I really dislike about it except the hop-up bucking. That's big. I recommend when you buy this gun that you get a Madvol blue hop-up bucking because sometimes the hop-up in this gun, it's a plastic hop-up wheel. Uh, but the chamber that houses the hop-up is metal, but just get a new bucking. It just keeps the gun shooting straight and it's just going to help you out a lot more. Um, things to get with your purchase of your AGM SCAR. I recommend buying D Boys 125 round mid caps uh, available at Airsoft Megastore and evike.com. Very good prices, just really worth the money. And one thing that I hear people complain about a lot is oh, my mid cap's broken, my mid cap's broken. If you read the disclaimer on evike, it tells you that mid caps may require some breaking in, so remember that. And if uh, you guys have any questions about anything else about this gun, just leave us a comment and just, or leave us a comment. Uh, below. Another thing is a Diamond Tactical. This is $26 on uh, Airsoft Megastore. Just a Diamond Tactical uh, red green dot site. 
and then you're just going to want, a pit, want to pick up an ergonomic uh, foregrip here just for when you're playing CQB and you can fold your stock and you have a little compact rifle there. And this thing's chronoing at with a 0.2 gram BB is chronoing at 385 to uh, 400 FPS, so kind of a little bit of a range there. Uh, uh, other things I can think of. Oh, I don't really have a tight bore on hand, so I require I would require if I bought this uh, bought another one to buy a tight bore with it because when you get this thing stuck, it kind of shoots a little wild. So I would think you guys uh, should get a. I'd go a 4.03 or 6.03 type 4 barrel, preferably Mad Bull for this gun. And other than that, this is just pretty much a basic review of the AGM SCAR MK16 Moto. And this has been Airsoft Reviewers 2012. See you guys next time and subscribe.